two of the pH here. So with the alkaline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in my mouth after eating a mango. Now I've just had about nine, eight or nine mangoes, and I put this in my tongue. But first, let me eat some mango, just so you know. This will be tricky. One-handed mango opening. Mmm. <laughs> Very sweet. Okay. It's got mango on my face. Very informal videos, these videos. So we'll put this pH. I'm just sucking it. And we got to wait a few seconds for it to come on. So it's interesting, people say, Harley, fruit's acidic, it'll, it'll rot your teeth, and you. And it's like, hey man, if it was, I wouldn't have any teeth left, because I've been eating more fruit than anybody in Australia for the last eight years, when I got into this whole raw food thing, you know, starting crazy amounts of fruit, because I, I just love fruit, it's so good, you know, it's starting to change this one. So, if fruit was acidifying, then my pH should be very, very acidic, because I eat so much fruit, but it's not. Judge by results, not by theory. It's already starting to go alkaline. So I'll just have a look at the little guide that we use here. So if we wait a few more minutes, it's going to start going into the optimal. You know? It's going to start going into the optimal. So what we'll do is we'll just wait a minute. I'll cut this off and then we'll come back and I'll show you what has happened. So what we have now is an optimal pH. That's acidic. And this is optimal. You can see that? It's not too alkaline. It's not too acidic. Bang, just right. Goldilocks <laughs> alkalinity. That's what we're talking about. Not too much, not too little, just right. And to thank my mango friend, I'm going to plant that seed down the back of the house. And that'll, that'll sprout. So I love growing around here. So, what can I say? You know, fruit makes you acidic debunked. So I waited a bit of, bit of time, and the pH after about nine mangoes, ripe mangoes they were, so that's very acidic, so we'll keep going down. No. No. It's more around here, isn't it? Somewhere it's in the in the optimal. See that? Optimal? Optimal pH. Not too acidic, not too alkaline, just right. Goldilocks alkalinity. <laughs> Classic. So the myth that fruit makes you acidic is absolute nonsense, and I've just verified it with a pH test after a very large meal of fruit, sugary sweet fruit, the mangoes. Why do people say fruit makes you acidic? Because then they can sell all these bogus health pills and potions and lotions and cleansers and fads and kundalini chakra crystal balancing horoscope astrology hoo-ha and get you out of the reality that fruit is your friend Fruit's the most optimal food for humans in terms of a good carbohydrate, fuel, sweet fruit. That's, that's where it's at. So again, now you can show people this video. Say, so, hey, you, Harley, the big fruit eater in Australia, just eating crazy amounts of fruit, test his pH, it's alkaline. What's up with that? How come is how come that's so, you know? Why? Because I live the alkaline lifestyle. I'm a, I'm a vegan. I eat low fat. Fruit being my staple. I get a lot of sleep, I get a lot of water, get my exercise, get my sunshine, everything in balance, and the body does its thing, stays alkaline, easy, no, you know, quackery to take or fake or whatever, just real results, real food, judge by results, not by theory, see ya.